Hey guys, I want to show you the un update on my tractor. It's not finished yet because I still have some features. But the back, I have only I have the one wall up, but I still have two, two to go, and I have to put the rough on. There's them in. Here's some the the board right there. I have to go and I have to I have to go back to the Dollar Tree and buy another one of these for the back because I, I only have if I had three it'd be three four ones would be okay because I could have one right there one right there. Then we'll know when to go back here. But sorry about that stuff in the background. That's my dad watching TV. So and I'm gonna show you right here is uh I mean it doesn't really move and that you push it, but it's still, I just want to make it, it's a model, so models don't even move, so, in real life it would move, of course, and everything doesn't work, really work in here either, just, just cut the airbags, which I'll show you in a second, um, yeah, and right here is my tractor, it has, it has features that a normal tractor wouldn't even have, Including the emergency exit up there, which I'll demonstrate in a second. And then right here is the radio. It's a satellite. It has satellite built in, and then your your CD right here, DVD, your cassette, and then the buttons, and then the time, and then it has a power button right there. The climate control. It right now it's in half hot. No, that's cold over there, then this is hot over here. Has your AC, your traction control, um, and I'll go through the options. I still have to make up the owner's manual yet. To save my printer and ink, the, the manual will be in my handwriting, because the inks are not, for printers aren't expensive, are, are really expensive, so, so I guess I still, the right here, right where my finger's going to be, is right there, is going to be where the ignition hole is yet. I still have to do that yet. I didn't have time. Then right here is your glove box. This just comes down. And the handle's nothing but just some paper clip iron wind and glued in there. And this is high temp all high temp hot glue and as you and what you're about to see is I when I was putting up the the signs up there, I hot glue splattered on my finger and I got blisters. See right here? There's one blister. And there's the other, so be careful with high temp, otherwise you end up with a blis two blisters on the finger. High temps burn, you know. low temps are harder to burn, but they're still burn. This is high, this is, there's my blister, so I don't know if you can see that, but there's blisters, two blisters on my hands where the hot glue touched. I wiped the hot glue off me, and then I put it under low, cold water to kind of do it, it but that really did hurt at first. It did burn real bad, so. so. And then right here is, back to this. Here's my traction control. This is traction control. That traction control. This is your power, or whatever you call that thing. Sorry about the noise in the background of my dad watching TV. All right. Then this is my AC. This is the AC, the climate control on and off switch, the fan speed, the front defrost and rear defrost, and the passenger and driver heated seats, the foil drive selector, and the, the gear shift, and then your mileage, your mileage reset. And then right here, I don't. Know, I may have showed you this before, but this is nothing made out of just a paper clip that I unwind and then hot glued in there. So then this comes down like this. This one looks like a back. It doesn't lock, but I didn't see in the back. It's just the back is made out of regular poster board I did, and then these are made out of harder stuff. Up there's your emergency exit. I, I put, I use my labeler, emergency exit, push out. So you push out on this, and then the, the windscreen, I didn't have money to buy plexiglass. I got the plexiglass in there. So I just used some saran wrap and then put some saran wrap in there. And then it went out. Then here's your hydraulic levers. This one's for the this for simple hydraulic levers. Then right up there, stuff like this. And then these these here are designed to expand once you go out. And then I don't have um, I don't have the seats in here yet. The seats will fit right here. This is only a two door. 
and stuff like this. Um, um, and then stuff like that. So that's right there. And then right here, here's your. This is an automatic transmission. So here's your gear, gear selector right now. It's in park. Go down like that. Reverse, neutral, reverse, neutral, drive, one, two, and three. Then you go back up to park. Then your, this is your, whatever you like to call that. This is your, your thing. And here's this. This is your. This goes to here. This is your first. This is your first. Your, it's in too high now. Then you go down. Then this this goes down right about here. Is high. This is high, right here. Two, four high, neutral. It won't go anywhere. Then four low. And this has the automatic locking hubs, so you don't have to go outside and lock your hubs. Locking hub on this automatic locking hub are also an option, which I'll show you. When so this is automatic locking hubs, so it says auto. Then here's your and this being an automatic, you have the extra wide brake pedal, and then your stuff. And then, see how easy it is to push in? It power brakes, power steering, stuff like that. I don't have the brake, here's the brake reservoir, and then, this is the brake reservoir, and now, uh, um, I don't have the brakes in there, I still have to make up, this is a diesel engine, so, all the, so all the, all I had to do is, um, I, and diesel engines don't produce a lot of vacuum, and plus I don't have nothing to put a, a power brake booster in there, so I just have to, I'm using some, I'm making up a little system that runs it off the power steering pump. So right here's your thing, and then to make those holes, I melted a hole with this hot glue gun to make it round, and then I taped it in there. And here's your, this is your thing that goes like this, and then this goes into there, and then your brake fluid would be in there. And then here, this is your little handle, it's far back, it's, I was going to put that handle in there right there, but then it got in the way when the airbag went off, so I just left it off. Um, this does have airbags, dual airbags, this will have side airbags once they get the sheets and the roof in. And then right here, and then right, and then the, you know those signs up there. This is, this tractors are easy to roll over, so I put a roll over sign right there. I glued that in there, and this is the one I broke my hand on with the hot glue because right here right here right around here the glue came coming out and then my finger got in contact with the hot glue and then it went to burn myself so right here is this it says for the air this is the airbag warning sign it says warning deaths or serious injuries can occur children children are can be killed by the airbag and stuff like that because it what's the, an airbag Equip tractor without an airbag warning sign. So, right here, so that's the driver. Driver's the one you can control the tractor, so I only put one of those right there, not over there. But the passenger still should read up on the airbag as well. And I'm going to show you right now. And then right here, you notice this is this is actually my. This is this has the roller bars right here. So then it goes. Then. And then how it works is, then this is your little thing. This is your rollover bar right here. And then the covers pop good right there. And then this is here. So then this is designed to kind of absorb. This is, this doesn't hold the tractor completely up. It just slows the tractor from tipping over without, it would tip over really faster and that would cause more injury cause, and stuff like that so it'll, it'll this slowly retract and then it, it slowly you know like a parachute, if you ever go skydiving and the parachute slows your fall this slows the tipping of the tractor so um, it slowly tips it on its side, not fast and then it's deployed by a, a small bag I put in there and it's it's assisted with the rubber band and to put more tension on the rubber band, I twisted it, so this go like this, um, and stuff like this. Because if you didn't have, if this is a, an option as well, so you tip o it tips over. The airbags are inside are standard, so it slows it, it slows the tips down, it slows the tipping.
Force. It says right there, roll over bar, and it comes out of this part here, and then here's your door. I don't have the saran wrap on there for the window, so this just opens up and it goes like this. I don't have the handle on it either. I'm gonna put I, and then to do to cut it, I have. There's my labeler. I don't have everything in there because I ran out of paper, but here's your. And then here's your, here's what I cut the stuff, the stuff with. This is just a flip up. And then this is my thing my sister installed for me. So, this is my... And this is a tractor. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go... I'm going to go and I'm going to go behind there and I'm going to blow the airbags and see if the airbags work. And I'm, and this is stuff. So I'm going to show you first. I'm going to show you my window. I'm going to show you my the window. As you can see, if we were in a crash or in a rollover, the door, this door would be probably blocked, or that door would be blocked, it's depending on what type of the ground would be in a way. So see, then that goes like this, and then this goes down, and stuff like that. And this is has about three or four road about four something, four road bands on it. This is a standard equipment. The safety things are standard. And the, also the roll over, you know how I said those were options earlier? Well, those aren't. I decided not, they weren't standard. And right here, here's your road bands right there. And stuff like this. And this goes down, and then there's your latches. See? Then this here spreads out, so you can just do that. I didn't have money to buy plexiglass, otherwise I'd put plexiglass in there, so. Plexi glass is pretty expensive, especially for a big sheet, so I just use the stuff I had at home to save on money. That was the and, and stuff like that. So and then it sits in there with the stuff. This is the passenger airbag module in here, and then there's the driver's airbag module. The uh, driver's airbag has a little spot where your face is supposed to hit it, so, and, and it, then the air comes out of them holes and it absorbs your impact. And your seat belts are designed to work with the airbags. The seat belts are going to be, are going to be belts that are able to, are left and shoulder belts. And then this is going to be right here, and then the driver's airbag gets out pretty big. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go make the driver's airbag, passenger's airbag has been giving us some trouble lately, so, giving me trouble lately. So I'm going to open up the cover and just make sure that airbag module, I'm make sure that the airbag is in there properly so it acts so, it, so the force is aimed outward, which will deploy it, which will deploy the stuff, which is the, which will deploy the stuff like this. So, the, I want it to be pushed out. So it's, I want it to be pushed out. I want it to push, be pushed the uh, end pushed out. So if the airbag does decide to go off, so if the airbag does go off, it'll actually consist. And then it also has a little spots right there. And one thing that I had to had to figure out is when the airbag came out, how will it react with the stuff around it? Because I didn't want the other stuff to be also pulled out and pushed in the dryer face, causing Serious or fatal injuries, so I wanted to make sure that everything is okay, and and I wanted to make sure the airbag came out un unobstructed. And what uh, was my most concern is is those switches next to the airbag. How would they react? And then how will the how will the glove box react as well? Because the glove box is located right underneath the airbag. And there's a dog. And then, okay, I'm a comer. I'm a comer. What do you want? And if you're wondering how the airbag works, it's just simple. It's just, um, and stuff like this. So what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go turn this around so that back the back consumers will the airbag up.
You may, you may not see the cover come up because the cover may be too high, but you'll see it before. This is going to be the passenger's airbag. So I have it in front of the passenger airbag. And the seat belts are going to be as tight as, as they, I put them in. So the seat belts are tight, so they don't no need for seat belt protection or like there will be in a car. So here it goes. I better make, oh, great. I must have put the Google by accident. Lucky it's still hot enough to do this. Hold on, I have to put my Google back in. And then also put in my other, I don't know how long that's going to plug, but I want to still work on this after I download the video on YouTube and Facebook. So, here it goes. Alright guys, here it goes. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, has 4, 3, 4. <laughs> See, that's what happens. Sometimes you don't get the vacuum cleaner holes inside the airbag just right, then it'll look like this. make improvements on that airbag. Now here goes the path and driver's airbag. The driver's airbag is going to be relatively smaller, but it should still work. Now I'm going to go in here. I'm going to, I'm going to rig up an apparatus to make them go off all at once. There, that one came all on there. I'm going to have to either replace the bag itself, as you can see, this is what happened. Your airbags went off, and and I made up a rule and stuff. And on before I cut off out the video, and as you can see, here's the driver's airbag there. And then this is what I was talking about about the bag earlier. Is right here. This little piece where I put the duct tape is where your face is supposed to go and hit it. This one here, it goes out like this, so your face hits this part right here. And as you can see, it's, this is what it looks like. And as you can see, it, everything on there came undone. The blow box is still shut, so everything came out good. And I have to, I might have to, I might have replaced, I might, I might replace this airbag. It has too many holes in it. So I'm going to replace this airbag before I do the next video. But it's easy to replace, just pull it out and insert a new garbage bag, then I'll be done. This one here is still pretty good. Like there's where your face is supposed to hit. It's made of tape. Um, and then that's right here. And then one thing you need to do is you need to have a tractor's license. Try one of these. Tractor licenses, um, driver licenses won't cut it. You need to have a tractor's license. And and it sim it looks like this. If you have a driver's license and you without a, if you don't have a tractor's license and you drive one of these, you will get pulled over. If you get pulled over, you can spend um, you can you, you get either a six hundred dollar fine or a couple nights in jail because it's that serious. So right here is what a license looks would look like. I made this license up. This is what it'll look like in real life if you ever if I ever decide to fall through on my bench and not building a tractor. There it is. This is what the tractor license. They'll say tractor license from Wisconsin. There's my license. And T stands for tractor license. And then it has a uh, name, amateur Johnson William, like you see in, on a regular driver's license, and a class. T stands for tractor, then address, E23, 17 duty lane, the date of birth, 825-1997, and it issued 123-2016, and now it's today, and expires in 825-2030, and then the sex is a male, of course, everyone knows that, here, 
brown weight is 231 pounds and a height is 600 six foot and two inches and eyes are brown and then if I ever decide to donate my organs when I die this is what it'll be where the sticker will go below this so as you can see there's a picture of my my face I did that earlier I I'm, how I did this is this is not the real license so try dri making you can get arrested for trying to drive a real car with this license or make up your own license like this you can actually get arrested for that but I don't use this to drive I just use this to make part of this tractor and stuff like this and it says and as you can see I had to go through a, I did a lot of clever editing and stuff like this and then how I did it is I wind up on my Google and then I went on to the Google Drive and I went on to the to make a Google Slides and then I I did, I typed it in and then I downloaded I used the same camera this is my video camcorder and then I took a picture and then I put that on YouTube and then I pasted it to this then I printed it off and then ta-da this is what I come out with I made this earlier and this is similar to driver's license but this is not really a license at all I printed it off the real license will be on a card this is on paper so and then what I'm going to go through um, I'm going to go through all the options and features now okay and then putting my license away because this license don't expire for another 20 years so I'm pretty good and it expires in 2030 so I'm pretty old then <laughs> 2030 well that's a ways a ways a ways a ways and then I still have to make up the 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 I have to still make up the um what am I thinking oh oh man I still have to make up the owner man and stuff like this and then I'm gonna go through the options so let's push this airbag aside and stuff and the options on this the standard features are two dual front airbags, um, power steering and power brakes, and then the radio, the and the eight and the hot and cold, and the front defrog. Fog. Those are all um, standard. And then the options are four-wheel drive, automatic, heated seats, heated mirrors. The heated mirrors come on when you turn on the when you turn on the climate control. Um, sunroof, rear defrog, frog, um, cassette radio, AC, cassette radio, CD player, satellite radio, traction control, side airbags, um, side airbags, the out. Um, side airbags, just the stuff out here are standard and stuff like that. So this is my video, um, and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching and stuff like this. And then I will, I'm going to get the next wall. I'll start working on the next wall either today or tomorrow, and then I'll start getting, and then I'll go to Dollar Tree and get the stuff, and then I'll put them right here, and then right here I'll put this right here. Um, and what I'm going to do is, um, and if these, this didn't come with AC, AC is also an option. The heat is standard though. There would be just a, a cut plate there and a plate here and then a big long plate right there and then and then plates here and then the plates all where the options would come in. To, and, but the hydraulics are all standard. Power steering and power brakes are all standard. Automatic is automatic. Um, and then there would be a clutch pedal right there and then there it would be pro then there'll be a shifter right here or something and then this is this is and then your this is an electronic this is electronic um and transfer case so you can and you know it looks like there's a lever the lever activates the switch and that activates the appropriate gear transfer case gear um, that was an also an option. There, there would be, otherwise there would be a, a lever here you pull and select a gear. And that would be right here and then your long stick shift would be right here.
then you then this pedal would be twice the size, it'd be a small pedal, both maybe the size of this and not a little bit bigger, and then right over there would be the clutch. This is the this is the all have all the options that this tractor has. And then here's the door. Here's the door. The door I still have to make up some improvements on the door and stuff like this, and there's the door it's shut. And then put the some strand wrap on it. Strand wrap it I just use the stuff I have at home here, so this is my video. Thanks for watching and enjoy.